Who is your favourite Final Fantasy VII Rebirth character? Whether it's Tifa or Barret, Red 13 or Aerith, do you fancy riding a Ferris wheel with them? Huh? <coughs> of course you do. Let us know which character is your bestie down in the comments and let's get into it. The Sky Wheel Day in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a key character moment for whoever you decide to take with you. And getting the right party member requires picking the right choices and optimising your romance options. There are a number of points throughout the game that give you the chance to further your bonds with every character, but it's sometimes an either-or situation, so you'll need to know when your decisions matter. Thankfully for you, we'll be showing you all the important moments where you can boost your bond and get your ideal Skywheel date. And obviously, it goes without saying, there's some big old spoilers for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth here, so if you've ended up this far in by mistake, it's your last chance to turn around. Right, so, the Ferris Wheel, or Skywheel date, happens during Chapter 12 on your second visit to the Gold Saucer. You have until the moment that you go to sleep in the haunted hotel to prepare, so make sure you've done everything you need to prior to this, as your date will be locked in the moment you decide to rest. Your date for the Ferris Wheel event is determined by the party member that you have the strongest bond with, which is enhanced through various story events and side quests. You can see which party member you have the strongest bond with by pressing L1 at any time, and a smiley face should appear above each character's head. Choosing the right dialogue option is oftentimes the best way to enhance this bond, but you can also further it by completing the character's link side quests, or by interacting with them in specific ways. So let's say you want to go on this Ferris wheel date with Aerith, for example. These are the key story moments that you can engage with to increase your bond with that character. Left, face, first sequence, begin. <laughs> you might want to go first. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. Or let's say you fancy spending a bit of time with Red 13. These are the key moments you'd have to engage with in order to get that for your day. Seriously? Though I am far from a humanoid, the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. Impressed. Obviously, these moments vary depending on who you're trying to up your bond with, and the three suggestions we provided are far from the only ones you can do, but they should give you a head start on building your bond with your favourite character. But just in case we haven't covered the party member you'd like to spend some time with, these are the key story moments and each of the chapters that they're in that you'll be able to up your bond specifically in a story moment with that character. But like we said, story moments are far from your only option. The three other defining factors are conversations, odd jobs, and synergy skills and abilities. So you need to make sure to try to pick the right options, complete all of whichever party member you're pining after's side quests, and unlock all of the right skill nodes in the folio for that character. There is also an option to take others to the date, in which Kate, Sith, Vincent, and Sid will accompany you around the Gold Saucer and jump on the Sky Wheel with you. As far as we can tell, this is only accessible once you've actually completed the game and gained access to the extra settings menu where you can manually set your companion, but don't rule it out and take that with a pinch of salt for now. Yuffie is probably the hardest character to get the Ferris Wheel date with, since she joins the game around halfway through and thus has fewer opportunities to gain a bond with. She does have a fair amount of linked side quests though to make up for this, so you're better off trying to get through those if you want the Wu-Tai Materia Hunter to join you. I managed to get Aerith in my playthrough, which I was delighted with, she's one of my favourite characters, and so having her for Chapter 8 and Chapter 12 in the Golden Saucer was an ideal experience. Thankfully, at least from what testing we did, your companion in Chapter 8 doesn't have a bearing on the Chapter 12 outcome when you jump on the Ferris Wheel, so don't stress if you don't get the person you want, as there's plenty of time to work it out and make sure you ride the Ferris Wheel with your favourite companion. Each date has its own unique cutscene though, so make sure to see them all, as you never know what might happen in each one and they are all well worth a watch. 
Speaking of which, thanks for watching. Drop this bit a like if you enjoyed and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. We have got a lot of other Final Fantasy VII Rebirth guides ready and waiting to aid you on your adventures, so stay tuned to GG Recon, and while you're with us, YouTube's algorithm is recommending a video just for you that it knows you're going to love, so check that out right here.